have half a pizza left over. You decide you're going to eat half of that pizza for lunch. How much of the whole pizza have you eaten? Well, let's start with this half a pizza and cut in half to figure out how much of the whole pizza we would eat. So I have my half a pizza and I'm going to cut it in half, which means each of these pieces is now worth a fourth. Since I'm only going to eat one of them, I'm going to eat one fourth of the pizza that we have. So eating part of a part, or in this case, one half of one half, is actually a key setup for a multiplying fraction problem. One half of one half would be the same as multiplying one half times one half, which we can see from our pizza gives us one fourth. To get to that same conclusion mathematically, let's look for a pattern. In our numerators, we have one, one, and one. Well, that means I could do one times one to give me a numerator of one. And in my denominators, I have two, two, and four. Well, I could do two times two to give me four. So multiplying fractions is just that. Multiply your numerators together to give you the numerator of your product. Multiply the denominators together to give you the denominator of your product. So one half times one half gave us one fourth of the entire pizza. So when we multiply two fractions together, like one third and two thirds, we start by simply multiplying our numerators together. So one times two is going to give me two, and then we multiply our denominators together. Three times three is going to give me nine. So one third times two thirds is going to give me two ninths.